And we're back. It is actually the morning after the last live stream of part six. I'm sure this didn't go up the next day, but let's just say that this date haunted me. It haunted me. And it's not because we got to see. <laughs> see. It's not because we had a bad date. It's not like that. It's because of this child's lost toy. Like it's actually stressing me out. So brunch better make up for it because so far this is the most stressful, unfun date because of this for me. I'm just gonna try and figure it out. Also, I know that this is not supposed to be realistic, but I feel like last time we should have just been able to tell Joseph to go and get his demon kids and be like, hey, your kids are, you know, they, they stole Craig's kid's toy. Like, this is very easily solved. I don't understand how this is supposed to be a puzzle. Like, just get your kids to give the toy back. Oh, did they not find anything? Oh, great. Okay. Okay, we'll interrogate Joseph. Reading his rope book. Sounds suspect. Your kids have it. Okay, try to calm her down. Okay, oh, we got some hearts from Craig. I think those are some of the first hearts we got on this date because I didn't restart the entire date, just um, this part, because as you can tell, it's just triggering me. I'm not even reading anything at this point. We know they're in the woods, but I don't feel like we found anything. Okay, the twins have to be around. We look for clues. Looking for clues. Okay. We find the kids. They have the toy. No, I just want to get this stupid toy. Listen, so we can go eat brunch. And it didn't work out again. I will not be that person who looks up a guide. I will not look up a guide. I will not look up a guide. Where will I auto save from? Okay, let's auto save from this point. Okay. Uh, the field. Do we find clues in the field? Interrogate River. Matt and Carmen Sita. Let's talk to them. Maybe they know something. Ah, oh, I don't even want to read it. I'm just so like, where is this toy? I should just look up a guide. Like, it's stressing me out so much. Hey, guys. That's that's Robert. <laughs> hey, bro. We just, I don't care. Honestly, I'm so sorry, but I don't care. Nice. He found something. Okay, good. What'd he find? He found Arnold's leg. Okay, so we found the leg. Okay, we go in, we interrogate. That hay almost made this worth it, but I just want this toy and then go to eat brunch and I will read things. <sighs> Deeper. Should I have looked for clues after that? Okay, maybe I will. Yes, I'm prepared. Kids, 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 here they are. We got it back. Okay, we got it back because we went to the field. It's over. The stress is over. I'm so sorry that I didn't read all of that stuff, but you know what? The kid has her toy, and that's what really matters. That's all that I care about. That's it. Okay, we can go back to the date now. It doesn't even... Nothing else matters. I'm so happy. <laughs> you have no idea how much that was stressing me out. Like, legit stress. I t I'm telling you, I get really invested in games, not like... Not like I can't tell the difference between reality or anything, but just like I care how the characters feel. It makes playing through on Renegade mode for things really hard. And tell your dad to stop letting you watch true crime shows. And also tell your dad who's at the bench reading his rope book to come and check on his kids and see what they're doing and whose other kids' toys they're stealing. Triggered. No. <laughs> okay, we made it. We made it to brunch. Brunch is happening. With the capybara back with its rightful owner, Craig and I shamble into a nearby diner, exhausted from our adventure. We find ourselves a corner booth and settle in. That was a tough case, but we cracked it. 
third time's a charm. We only had to use our time turner and go back in time a couple of times to make it work. It's fine. It's not cheating, is it? The kid has your toy. That's what matters. You know, cheating is fine for the kids. We're different now. Changed. Did we go in too deep? It's nothing a hearty brunch can't fix. My stomach grumbles. I suddenly realize how big of an appetite I worked up. Brunch. Give me brunch. I have strong philosophies on brunch. Namely that we should eat it. No. <laughs> you see, the first thing you do is divide your brunches between bougie brunch, the upper class mimosas and eggs benedict brunch, and grimy brunch, the give me coffee and bacon and cheesy hash browns brunch. There's a time and a place for both, and I think most of life is about figuring out which one you need more. Always the last one. No. <laughs> both. Both brunches simultaneously. My mood is so improved now that we fixed this and found this toy. And I didn't even have to use a guide. I just had to be really stressed out and not even read dialogue because crying baby. It's, you don't even understand. It's like I could hear it in my head, even though they were not adding it. Thank you, because that would have been too stressful. So what kind of brunch dad are you, Ethan? Well... <laughs> grimy brunch all the way but I mean we worked so hard to like make this work that might as well I'm a grimy you know let's just be honest he's our friend grimy but doesn't he want bougie I don't know grimy make it fried and oily and clean the floors with a hose and I'll be happy a fine choice but wait aren't you going on a healthy kick I lied I lied. Gotta treat yourself. I got a carbo load. I lied. <laughs> Gotta treat yourself. Are we not dads? And is brunch not a higher calling than a mere diet? Ellipses. See, Craig and I just don't click. Not naturally. Oh, we do? Holy. I spoke too soon. Look, those came from the front, not even from the back. Those were front eggplants and aubergines. I need to put the stuffed animal incident behind us and move forward because that was the most eggplants we've ever gotten. And that has to mean something. Is it love or is it aubergines? <laughs> Student becomes the master. A young waitress passes out menus as Craig situates River in a high chair. Is this your kid? You betcha. She's so cute. Hi, you. Hey, kid, middle school is going to be real tough. But if you can make it through that, you can make it through anything. The waitress walks away after winking at Craig. Seems like you're the most eligible dad bachelor in town. Guess so. Anyway, here's the thing about brunch. You don't do business during brunch. Brunch is a time for rest, relaxation, and restoration with those that you love. And while we're having brunch at a traditionally brunch time, the most important thing to remember is that brunch isn't a time. It's a state of mind. If you can't have brunch on your plate, you can always have brunch in your heart. That's right, Craig. I agree. Brunch all the time. Forever brunch. Believe in the heart of the brunch. I don't disagree with you. I just don't know if I can match your intensity. Well, if you can match the intensity of Craig. Craig Shiro. Kuro. I'll open your eyes, bro. Just you wait. I can show you the brunch. We order our food and the waitress, after very blatantly hitting on Craig multiple times, eventually brings us our brunch feast. River munches on cereal right next to us, more or less managing to get it in her mouth. I gotta say, man, it's really great having you back around to hang out with. Things have been so busy with work and fitness and the kids, I just haven't had time to really go out and get to know people. With you here, it's like we're picking up where we left off. Like a good friendship. You know those friends who you haven't seen them in like years and it doesn't even matter, it's like you saw them yesterday? I know the feeling, man. Moving to a new place could have been really rough for me, especially with Amanda going off to college soon. You're making this a lot easier. I'm still decompressing. You don't even understand. Craig smiles at me. Nice. It feels really good to go on another bro venture with you, dude. Just like old times. For a while, I forgot about anything that was bothering me in my life. And it was just you and me at... More coffee? Oh, uh, no thank you. So, do you like to work out? Do you lift, bro? <laughs> so do you lift, bro? I... Yeah, 
mostly calisthenics, but I try to lift as part of the regimen. That's so cool. I've been looking for a workout buddy, you know? That's right, a buddy, a friend, <laughs> a casual platonic workout partner. That's exactly what she's looking for. Ah, I wish I could help you out, but I'm enjoying brunch with my workout bro right now. Hello. <laughs> well, if you change your mind. The waitress slides a folded note to Craig and walks away. Craig makes a face as he reluctantly puts it into his pocket. This is so, yo. Craig shouldn't have to live with all this sexual harassment all the time. People leave Craig alone. It's unwanted. This is like the equivalent of constant catcalling. Stop throwing yourselves at Craig. We can't take you anywhere, can we? Stop. Craig is clearly uncomfortable, Ethan. It's a blessing and a curse, isn't it? The next time we hang out should be in the middle of the woods where people can't interrupt us. And also maybe in some different woods than the ones where little kids like to vivisect things. Craig laughs. Man, remember all our camping road trips back in the day? Joshua Tree, Yellowstone, that was the best. I'd give anything to do that all over again. Dude, we should do a camping weekend. Oh, I don't know, bro. I'm an adult now. I have all these adult responsibilities. I don't think I can just drop everything to go hang out in the woods for a few days, you know? Come on, dude. If we plan things right, we can do this. Craig, don't you ever do anything for yourself? I would argue that the working out is mostly for himself. I mean, yeah, to prolong his life for his kids, but also mostly for him. I mean, he's real intense about it, but okay. Let's guilt trip him, that's right. Guilt trip him, make him feel bad about it. Just like subtly push him in with that nice manipulation, Ethan. Craig stares into his coffee mug. Of course I do. See, now it's uncomfortable. Is anybody else getting like a weird vibe from this? Like, is, does anybody else get uncomfortable when people do that to you? Where you're like, oh, I can't because reasons. And they're like, don't you care about yourself? Or don't you like to have fun or like some kind of weird guilt trip? No, this is getting up there with the Robert date for not being in the healthiest of territory. It's super fun to reminisce and relive things, but like, I don't know. Of course, if they plan it right, they can, but he's uncomfortable. Look at our career out. Yeah? Like what? Sometimes I let myself have one scoop of vanilla ice cream before bed, but only if I didn't meet my caloric intake for the day. And sometimes I let myself hit the snooze alarm, but only once. Dude, you gotta relax sometime, or it's gonna kill you. Please come camping with me. It'd be so fun, bro. I guess I could get Smashly to take the kids for the weekend. I'll think about it. We finish our brunches and head back to the cul-de-sac. By the way, great job keeping up today. Seems like you're already making a lot of progress. That's right, third time through we are. Ha, I'm probably gonna need a, bit, a little bit of recovery time after this. Tell the girls I said hello. I will. See ya, brotective. More like frustrated, angry brotective, but okay, that should have been a choice. Frustrated cop. I say goodbye to Craig and step inside. God, I need a shower, a gallon of water, and a nap. Okay, so same things. Hmm, I bet Amanda's still asleep. Yeah, okay. So this is just the ending, so we can get through that and just find out our score. A decent solid A, I think. Really, an S? Aw, I missed you too, Craig. But you know what I didn't miss? The concept of screaming children looking for their lost toys. Okay, so now we have an S with Craig. Much better than a C. I still don't know if I've recovered from the first playthrough of this date. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, was it a good date? Did we have fun? Did we have fun? Did we have fun? We certainly had brunch. That's a thing that happened. Well, that didn't take that long. So I'll probably put this up today. Get it out there. Get it over. Just the catharsis for my soul. <sighs> Next stream, 
we will continue on with the other dates. That one was just, it wasn't that it was bad, okay? If we had just done, like we'd gone to the movies or something and it's been terrible and we hadn't clicked, I would have let it lie. But the concept that this kid would never have her favorite toy again was just too much. It literally kept me up. So we did that. Thank you as always for indulging whatever this was. Also, for getting a little glimpse into the process of how I play games and do the research for these things, because if you're going to do it, especially for a game with all these choices, you got to have the good dates and the bad dates and see all the potential options, because all of those can lead to avenues for shipping, fix, all kinds of things. So, rambling over, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day, night, whatever it is. When we come back to the stream, more dates, more dads, hopefully less stress. See you guys soon. Okay, bye-bye. This has been Shipper's Guide to the Galaxy. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Special thanks to all of my patrons, names on the side, and as always, stay tuned. For there are as many ships out there as there are stars in the sky.